farmer friend, singer-songwriter, Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack-of-all-trades, Chris Horn. And we're Those Taste Bud Guys. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back. Let's join us one more time. I'm Chris, that's Lyle. We're Those Taste Bud Guys. I smack that every time. Hi, I'm me. I don't think it comes through. I think I'm that good. Oh. Not the mic. It's probably the one time that, yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely not the mic or the software running through that I don't do anything with. Probably. So. Maybe. <laughs> hey, guys, check out our friends over at Hoachtown if you would. We'd much appreciate it. They'd much appreciate it. Uh, I like to tell you all the time, comment down below and tell us what you think about it if you have had it. Um, other than that, like and subscribe and follow us on all the, the fun stuff. I'm finally getting around starting to post on Instagram a little bit again. Um, and usually... Facebook as well via Instagram. I uh, we haven't been posting on Facebook for a while, but um, you know, we're putting a little more effort into it again because we're kind of ramping back up. Yeah. So join the road. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're working with uh, not X. <laughs> we're working on our um, our Hendrix train here. Yeah. Uh, if you missed the last episode, go back and watch. Started with the this one original. Now we're gonna do the Neptunia gin. Um, and what's its deal? Um, I, it said something about uh, coastal flavors. Um, Magic it, of the sea. Yeah, which I guess that'd be the Neptune part. Mm-hmm. Treasure refreshing is her muse. Mighty waves that lash the Ayrshire coast. Which I wonder. Air it said. Yeah. Miss Coastal Botanicals. Miss Leslie Gracie. Gracie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Master Distiller. I wonder how many Master Distillers are women. Do you have any idea? I know in like, like the whiskey world, Not that's kind of a little bit. A kind of a thing where, you know, unique, I guess, or an outlier. Get a Hendrix Neptuna. Changes them daily. Interesting. Actually, the Hendrix Neptuna, the recipe they get on the back sounds really good. One part Hendrix Neptuna. Half part fresh lime, half part simple syrup, soda water, and three slices of cucumber. I bet that is freaking delicious. I would probably do with a little less syrup, but. So, anyways, there is a saltiness to this uh, compared to the other one. How about compared to Jefferson's Ocean? <laughs> it's a smell like it's been on a boat for months. It uh, doesn't have the same marketing punch, no. Um, <laughs> So that's, those citrus notes, I feel like, are a little sharper yeah, and a little more... Um, and this did say it finishes with some citrus. Sour in, like, a good way. Um, I think the overall flavor comes in lighter than the original Hendrix and smoother. I know the last one I said wasn't boomy, but this is even less so. And floral. Quite a bit more. There's a lot more floral, yes. Yeah. There is one on the exhale. If you build that up and exhale with it, there is one very um medicine-y note in there that i'm not sure about oh man so totally different i think than the that nose. is yeah that's that's surprising the saltiness still comes through actually quite a bit of really salty briny yeah. yeah like at the end of that that's what i was gonna finish with the front of it's really nice and pretty and i actually enjoy that the floral notes go yeah. through there and it's got some nice um uh, let's see what what is that flavor um normally i'm used to calling things with like lilacs and then and, uh, and uh the summer flowers type mm -hmm. stuff and this is well, I think they nailed it with coastal, but I'm not so familiar with coastal. I can tell you what any, you know, I know what a crab tastes like. That's about <laughs> it. It doesn't taste like crabs. Um, but crabs sound good right now. It does. <laughs> crabs, Christmas crabs. Oh, I did that once. I had to go get shot. <laughs> I flew waiting for that. It's going to be a joke in there. It is a big joke. Yeah. Anyways, um, but yeah, the ending of that is just really briny. Yeah, like Great. you said. Yeah. Really? This is good. I mean, I feel like this would make like an absolutely stellar knockout dirty. Dirty. Yeah. Oh my God. You wouldn't even have to try. You could just be like, make this and just do it normal and it would be. Yeah. Probably, above you, you could probably just garnish with olives and not even put any juice in it and still be. With this, I would absolutely just throw an olive in this drink yeah, and call it good, right? Do it like a, uh, what's the. Winston Churchill. Churchill, yeah. <laughs> uh, Churchill's thing. I think, I'm, I think he said it. If not, it's just an internet. You know, 
meme. Well, it's attributed to him, whether it's right or wrong. Yeah, uh, the way to make a perfect martini is to pour a glass of gin and stare at a bottle of vermouth. So, excellent philosophy. Um, yeah, I dig this, and I would, which I've had these before, and it has been a while, and but I do remember thinking yeah. every single one of these is worth purchasing. Yeah, um, so I thought we'd already done these on the show, and it wasn't until a while ago we was looking and realized we didn't, and both of us was in the mood to drink gin today, so that's why we're doing this. Man. Um, there is one that Flora something, and it's a pinkish orange label. You said you didn't like that one. Yeah, that we do not have here. Plus, I think there's a green label one we don't have as well um, that I haven't tried. I have had that pinkish one, and it is so much like uh, potpourri. Mm -hmm. And it is so strong that I literally think it's like licking bathroom hand soap, you know, the really floral stuff. It is so... I, I don't like it. I, I just don't... Fl I flat don't like it. I think Neptunia's fantastic neptunia is um, really good i want to try that and can you imagine a cucumber in that oh my god With that yeah. salt lending to that cucumber and that light flavor oh man mm -hmm. beautiful yeah it um, says slices i think i'd do a spear yeah stellar uh stellar stuff i don't know what to say other than that just like this this is going to be a good series guys oh yeah absolutely if you guys if you had this one comment down below let us know what you think of any of these um actually let us know if you got some other gins you want us to do as well yeah we love doing them. Uh, we've got a lot over here that are not particularly good. There's a bunch of them I found on sale and brought them in. We would love to get some new ones. So if you've got some ideas for us, comment down below. Let us know what they are. We will do our absolute best to uh, get them found and do a uh, tasting of them. Yep. Until next time. Whether it be the gin from under the sea. <laughs> the food you're eating. Under the sea. I've lost in Little Mermaid now. Darling, it's better down. Wait a minute, we can't sing that. We'll definitely get. <laughs> Grab a buddy, try something new. Under the sea. <laughs>